Good afternoon, slimy fertlers. Um, so, anyways, this morning um, there was a, a knock, knock, knock upon my door, and uh, for once it wasn't the police. It was actually a, a man from Parcel Force, and he uh, he dropped off this uh, this this great whacking great box here. As you can see, I don't know, can't get it all in the frame. Uh, uh, there it is. It's quite it's quite big. Um, yeah, he dropped off this this box and. Uh, it's a mystery box because I have absolutely no idea what's in it. Um, but I do know that it has been sent to me by a friend of mine. Um, he knows who he is. I'm not going to mention his name because he's not said whether he wants it on. Um, but he uh, was basically having a bit of a clear out at home. And he said to me the other day, he said, I've sent you uh, a care package. And, uh, you know, he says it's just some stuff I'd laying around. I thought you'd you'd be able to make better use of it than me. So, uh, yeah, big parcel. Um, like I say, I've got no idea what's in it, so we're going to open it up. Um, I've already cheated a little bit because I had to uh, get the address label off the front. And uh, I don't know what you used to stick it down with, mate, but I was just assuming I was tearing paper off. But uh, I've taken half of the wrapping paper with it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just needed to tear the address label off so that, you know, I don't get people knocking upon my door and then when I open the door they shout a lower snack bar and explode themselves up um, so yeah so we'll get to uh, we'll get opening this up and see what's in it and uh, see what 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 we've got Ooh, it's quite heavy so, so we'll take off the thing god it's like Christmas uh, I think I'm gonna need a knife because a lot of tape on um, I can understand putting lots of tape on because uh, the other week I sent something via Royal Mail. It was well taped up, well packaged, and everything like that. And uh, it didn't turn up. It didn't turn up at the address, so the person who bought it off me decided to open a case with eBay, cause a lot of problems. Um, you know, basically getting accused of fraud and all shit like that. And as it turns out, Royal Mail had actually um, severely damaged the parcel I sent him. Um, because it turned up over a month after I'd posted it and uh, basically the the only reason why the contents weren't really really well battered was because I put them in a, a safe sort of plastic box and sealed that up the outer packaging was completely obliterated um, so Royal Mail um, gave me my money back on that one so I'm just I'm just ripping this open here and basically I can see that we've got a very large um, Airfix um, diorama set, uh, the D-Day diorama set. I'm, I'm in trouble getting this bugger open, all the boxes and an Airfix diorama set, but that doesn't mean that that's what the contents are. Um, but it's still got the uh, Airfix flying hours on it at five points, so that's nice. Uh, I'm not in the Airfix club. I'm not in the Airfix Club, I, uh, I haven't seen it. So yeah, it's, uh, oh, that's the wrap and paper off. So this is the main box. D-Day 176 uh, diorama. So let's open the box up and see what's in it. There's more tape on the box. And my fag keeps popping out of my mouth, which isn't good, because if you drop a cigarette on yourself or something else, there's a chance that, you know, like you'll set fire to it. And setting fire to things in your own house probably isn't the best idea in the world. Um, Say big safety tip there. Uh, so, so uh, how do we get into this? Uh, more tape, so I'll just run the knife along here. I'm using a very, very sharp modelling scalpel type thing, um, which you know, for, for for children at home that are watching this, uh, if if you need to use a scalpel uh, to get into something, uh, make sure your mum and dad don't see you doing it because they'll go fucking berserk. Because young children shouldn't be handling things as sharp as that. So right, I've opened the box and oh, 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 I'm already seeing goodness. Oh, 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 it comma. Um, yeah, there's there's a veritable ton of, of stuff in this box. Uh, right, <clears throat> pop her open. Uh, so first and foremost, the first thing I spotted that I, that I wanted to spunk off over is this, the uh, Fuckerwolf TA183 Hookbean Experimental German Fighter. 
Uh, please be 172 scale. Please be 172 scale. Uh, cement and paint icloud. Made in Turkey. Made in Turkey? Mm. Didn't know they made any model kits in Turkey. I. It doesn't say what scale it's in. Oh, 172. Awesome. That'll go with the rest of the um, experimental German stuff that I've got uh, up, up in the air at the minute. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that one. Um, what else we got here? Uh, Aerospatial uh, Alouette 3, which was a helicopter that was used quite a lot in the sort of 60s and 70s, uh, also in 172 scale, so I'm well chuffed with that. Box a bit battered, but it looks like this is an old, old uh, It's a Humbrol Hella. It looks like it was originally purchased from Toys R Us. Toys R, I don't think I've ever seen Toys R Us selling model gear. I know Toy Master used to. Because um, back when I was a teenager, I think that's where I bought my first model kits from. So the next one out thing is a Fokker F1, uh, which is oh yeah, another 172. So yeah, that's that'd be the yeah that's the um, Red Baron plane, but it's 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 not meant to be painted in the Red Baron colours. Um, I've already got one of those, but I might might have, a, might have another one. Um, nice picture there of the the Fokker F1, um, you know, having a dogfight with some sock with camels. Very nice. What we got here? Snapfix model. Um, Concord. Warning may have sharp edges. Uh, I've already got Concord, but uh, it's not. Yeah, it's one of those snap kit things. Yeah, the, the easy ones that you can just put together without any glue or paint or anything like that. Uh, free wall poster, oh, nice one. Uh, so over here, what else we got in here? Oh, Supermarine Spitfire Mark V with the big ass cannons on it. Also, one. Oh, this is Ace. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Uh, box stuff. Oh, an F5, an F5 Tiger. Oh, nice one. Oh, well, F5 Freedom Fighter or whatever they call them. Um, build the dream. It's airfix, so it's one. It'll be one. So yeah, it's one seventy two. Oh. This is awesome. Oh, fuck it. Oh, it's wrong scale. Oh, but still, I'll build it anyway. An A10 Thunderbolt. Oh, fucking love A10s. Um, it's, it's 144 scale, so it's just, it, it's slightly too small. Uh, well, it's it's the it's the half scale of the stuff I normally do. I might, I might build and paint it anyway. Um, because I love A10s. I've been meaning to get an A10 for a while. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, Westland Navy Lynx. I've been meaning to get one of these for a while as well. Is this 172? It is, it is. Oh, Navy Lynx, that's the uh, helicopter that's most used by um, the British Army and the Royal Navy. Um, it's Sea Lynx, so it's uh, what they call it. It's Royal Navy one. Uh, let's say, so what else? Oh, another, another Concorde. Uh, Air France Concorde. Stickers and transfers depicted on the box are not included. Is this another one of those snap kits? I think so. A bit knackered. Uh, well, the box is knackered, but I assume the kit's there. It doesn't say what scale it is. Um, I don't know. We'll see. What, we'll have to see what that one is when I unpack it. Okay. So now we've got. Oh no! Wait, there's another one here. Uh, Messerschmitt BF 109G uh, in 144 scale. Um, so again, I'll, I'll probably sell that one on. Um, and I think we've got here is the parts for the D-Day. Uh, I think so. We've got a, a bag here of. of Plastic soldiers. Uh, we've got something here with some tracks on. I'm not quite sure what that is. I think that's a. Uh, I think that's a Sherman tank. Uh, another pack here with uh, British soldiers in. I can tell the British because I can see that some of them have got piats. So um, a bunker. So that's a German bunker. So yeah. Oh, here we are. Here's, here's the uh, list of stuff. What's in here? D-Day collection. Tiger One tank. AC Matador with five and a half inch gun. Uh, LCV4 Buffalo and Jeep, GMC Duck, uh, Sherman Crab Tank, uh, LCM3 and Sherman, and Coastal Defence Battery. Uh, and then there's a ton of other papers and stuff like that in here. And um, I'll just take this, take this out. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's the Sherman. Um, Sherman Crab. I haven't got one of those, so I think that might be. Yeah, that's the Tiger. I've already got the Tiger, so that'll be all right. Uh, I think that's the duck, is it? The duck, it's got tracks. That looks a bit like a Churchill tank. I don't think it is, but, you know. Uh, that's the AC Mac... Oh, no. I don't know, I don't... No, that's the duck, because it's got the, the curvy hull and everything. Um, so, oh, God, I'm dropping fag ash on the floor. 
I guess I'm quite I'm getting a bit excited, so it's like I'm paying attention to this and not this shit. Uh, like I said, I nearly set myself on fire again. Um, we've got the... I don't know what they are, but then we've got this... This big-ass base plate here for you to... I've got like a, a beach... Uh, yeah, this is the... That's supposed to be the sea, and then this is the beach with a nice little crater in, and this is a cliff for you to put the coastal defence battery on. Um, thin, floppy plastic, but you're supposed to mount these things on a base, so... Uh, the thing and then just a couple of uh, a couple of bits and bobs thumbs off the, you know just a, an old airfix uh, sale thing and then a bit of information there about the uh, D-Day landings so yeah it's a right little care package there there's more than enough to keep me going for fucking ages in this lot um, yeah that's awesome um, I'm lost for words actually, I, I, I really am. It's very very rare that anybody ever sends me anything um, just randomly like that. Uh, and to get, to basically get a big box of awesomeness, I mean I've got all the, you know, all this lot here, these are all the, the, the thingy kits and then the D-Day box, it's, I don't know, it's, uh, especially being as, like I say, I don't get out of the house much anymore and, you know, it gets, it, it gets kind of, you know, boring sitting in the house on, on my own all the time. Well, I say on my own, I've got the dog, but the dog's not much of a conversationalist, so, you know, I need to find things to uh, occupy my time with, and uh, this is going to keep me occupied for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'll just have a quick... Uh, yeah, that's the, the pile, of, pile of stuff there. Um, cheers, mate. Uh, I really don't want to say thank you. Um... Thanks. I, I can't really say much else, really. Uh, fucking hell. <laughs> there must be a, a, a fair bit of money's worth here. Uh, you know, five or, five or a, a kit. And those snap fix ones, I don't know, a couple of quid. And then the D-Day the box set will have been about 40 quid. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to enjoy doing some of this stuff, especially the uh, TA-183. Um, that's one I've been looking for for a while, actually. So yeah, um, that's been the, the unboxing video of the, 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 the big box that I didn't know what was in. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and, and I'll see you later.